Hey everyone, as many of you know, I've recently been on crutches, and being on crutches, I've realized that eating and drinking while walking is very difficult. And so as part of Mark Rober's creative engineering class, my dad and I have decided to build food and water crutches. Here's the video. To begin the whole thing, we brainstormed and researched everything. But I don't think you want to just watch me sit here and think for five minutes. So let's just skip right to the prototyping phase. For the food crutch, we had an old rocket launcher that we used for one of my birthday parties. We figured this design could be modified easily to work for a small candy launcher. For the final design, we knew that we would need to make a more compact design, but for the prototype, we figured this would work. We wanted to put more focus on the candy holder part at this point in the design process. We came up with a simple design where we attached a medicine cup to the top of a small piece of PVC and then used a string to hopefully prevent it from flying off. We then did many tests and concluded that this design should work pretty well. After prototyping, we started on the final build. The first thing we did was figure out how the PVC and launching mechanism went together. Then, to prevent air from escaping the pressure chamber, we glued the PVC together. While the PVC glue dried, we started working on the water crutch design. During our prototyping phase, we figured out that we could use a small hand pump to pump water from a water bottle up through a tube. So that's what we did for the final build. We took a small hand pump and attached it to the crutch, and then we took two tubes, had one go into a water bottle, and the other act as a straw. Then we designed a simple cup holder in CAD and 3D printed it. By the time we had finished the water crutch, the glue had dried, and we tested the food crunch launcher to make sure it worked. For the food crutch, we weren't sure if we wanted to use a hand pump like for the water crutch or if we wanted to use nitrogen cartridges. Sadly, the hand pump was not very really well made and did not keep the air in, which prevented us from using it. So we tried out the nitro cartridges. The tests were not looking very promising, but we had to have the project done by that night, so we attached the mechanism and called it good. Here is the final product.
We wish that we would have had longer to work on this build, but for the amount of time we spent, we were pretty proud of what we had made. Two more build videos will be out soon as part of this class. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one.